Hey everyone, it's Jasmine and I'm so happy you're here. Today we are having returning items from Culver's. So our first item is the salted caramel pumpkin concrete mixer. <laughs> we are going to, I had this last year, but it's been a year so. That's so good. The flavors hit differently. So I'm definitely getting the pumpkin pie. It tastes straight pumpkin pie. And the saltiness from the salted caramel. Salted caramel is so much better than regular caramel. There's no question. It's drippy because I got my food and this is my second time I started filming. I didn't touch any of the food or eat anything yet, but I was in a parking lot that had no shade and you can see now I found a very shaded spot and I had to go to the bathroom. So I got my food, went to the bathroom, found a shaded parking lot, and now here we are. <laughs> I did order a sunshade for my window and it says it should get here today. So food. Napkins. Colors has the most basic napkins. I wonder how much more it costs to like get napkins with the logo. We got some french fries. There is french fries like all inside this bag. Then get Culver's. We got cheese sauce for the fries because you can't go to Culver's and not get cheese sauce for your fries. That'd be like a crime. And the star of the show, the Curter Burger. So I did try this last year and I think I remember liking it. But we're trying it again because returning, limited time, we had to. <laughs> so, it's got, gosh, let me see, a patty, the Curder Burger patty, lettuce, tomato, no onion, no onion. No onion. <laughs> it could have onion. And I think there's mayonnaise. So. This patty in the middle. Is straight cheese. Like a giant mozzarella patty. So. I'm going to take a thumbnail real quick. And then I will be back. And we will dig in. Because I'm starving. Okay, now I'm gonna put this up here to catch my like burger droppings because you know there's gonna be some. And let's go. That is thick. A little dry. I think I should have asked for extra mayonnaise. Pickle. Mm -mm. 
That is such a strange... Why do I not remember the, like, pickle, onion, lettuce, tomato being on here? It's not as good as I remember it. But it's still good. Um... The cheese patty is, like, not very thick. I feel like I remember it being way thicker. And, like, cheese oozing out all over the place. So. Mmm. 7.5. Drink your water today if you haven't. I know I've been bad about it, so we all need a reminder sometimes. I really liked this shake. So, it was officially October. Therefore, I decorated for Halloween. I did not decorate early for Halloween, but you better bet I'll be decorating early for Christmas. I'm really proud of my TV stand. My TV stand Halloween decoration setup. So I'm gonna show you a picture. I mean, look how cute it is. I, whoa, what's that? Interesting. <laughs> I mainly got everything from the dollar store, so decorating on a budget. But if I didn't tell you that, it doesn't even look like it. I went to look for decorations at Walmart too. And I didn't even end up getting anything from Walmart because honestly the Dollar Tree decorations were so much cuter. Shopping for decorations though is so weird because there's fall decorations out, there's Halloween decorations out, and there's Christmas decorations out. <laughs> it's all out. Also, when some people be setting up their trees already, why? It's spooky season. You can't skip spooky season. But I know that some people are setting up their trees because I have seen it on TikTok. That's a little, it's a little too early for that. I usually do mid-November. Like the second or third weekend in November. Oh, I also ordered bats off Amazon. I don't know if you guys have seen, but like people got all these bats flying across their walls so I ordered a pack of like a hundred bats. Culver's fries are unmatched. Like you could eat them with no sauce. They are that good. Ten out of ten. Ten out of ten. It just got really bright outside all of a sudden. It's supposed to be thunderstorms all weekend. Gosh. Wow. <laughs> so that'll be fun. We're going to family birthday parties. It's like a big combined birthday party. 
for my mom, grandpa, and cousin. I'll probably do a TikTok showing their gifts, so go there. I haven't posted a TikTok in forever, but I'm going to try and be better about that, so. What in the contact wares, you know. There is something in my eyeball. I love contacts for the fact of like not having to wear glasses, obviously. I like slipping and sliding down my nose all day. But if you get anything in your eyeball, it hurts so bad. The trees are super pretty outside. You can't see them, but the fall colors are here. I can't wait for it to snow. No bugs and snow days. Win-win. <laughs> I really don't mind the snow at all. I lived in Michigan my entire life, so pretty used to it. Remember last Christmas, we had like the worst storm ever. Like so many Christmas parties got canceled. It's gonna be so cozy this year because I have a fireplace. I'm so excited to bundle up by the fireplace and watch movies. Recommend me Halloween movies to watch because I want to get in the mood <laughs> got you more of this burger come here little burger i think it's really my fault for not eating it super fresh but The flavors are there. Have any of you been watching the Take Care of Maya trial? It's a really sad trial. There, it, there was a Netflix documentary made about it as well. The documentary is called Take Care of Maya. And uh, long story short, the parents brought their daughter into the emergency room and she was in severe pain due to a disease that she has but the hospital didn't believe them and accused the parents of child abuse am I allowed to say that <laughs> and the parents were kicked out of the hospital and the mom ended up taking her own life uh, three months later. So the trial is the family suing the hospital for what happened to the mom, like saying it was their fault. But I have been watching the trial so if you know me you know that I love true crime
There they are. I was looking for a napkin. Another cool thing that's happening in October is my best friend Mia is coming to visit. Hi, Mia. Um, and we are making each other boo baskets. And I'm trying to, like, put it together. So... If you have any cool recommendations of something to put in a boo basket for somebody, somebody not your significant other, because all the suggestions I see are like for your significant other, and I'm making one for my best friend, so let me know. Also, opinions on boo baskets. We've all seen them all over the place this year. What do you guys think on like getting your significant other a boo basket? I feel like our generation has come up with so much extra like little things like little holidays and traditions that our parents never did. Like, boo baskets? Like, no way our parents were giving each other boo baskets. It's a fairly newer thing. And I think it's just mainly due to social media. People see what other people are doing, and of course you don't want to be left out. If everybody else is getting a boo basket, I want one too. <laughs> So I think that's kind of how it stems. Because I'm definitely a culprit. Even for like house decorating. Like you go on Pinterest and you search like cute Halloween decor. I'm getting full. So full. I don't know what I'm gonna do about this shake. I'm gonna have to eat it because I can't put it back in the freezer. You can refreeze them. I'm not going back home though. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna stop eating before I explode. So, let me know if you try any of these items, what spooky things you're up to, and if you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up down below. Also, hit the subscribe button if you would not mind. I would really, really appreciate it. I hope you have an amazing week, and I will see you next Friday. Bye, guys.